Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, this is Kyokab Manzoor, teacher, trainer, and career counselor, and we are studying economics. And today our topic is topic of discussion is inflation. First, I will show you some pictures, and you just look at the pictures and then try to understand the concept. Do you what comes uh, to your mind when you see this picture, right? Okay. Here is another picture. Then it was four point nine nine, and now this is four point nine nine. So what do you get from this picture? Here is another one. This is 2022, slowly and gradually. You can see the arrow going up. Here is another one. Cup of coffee in 1970, then 80s, 90s, and now in 2022, that is $1.85. So you see, you, you might have seen one trend in it that something is keep on increasing. So what is inflation? When the price level increases continuously, or in other words, when the value of money falls and it loses its purchasing power, that is basically called as inflation, right? Each unit of currency means each dollar note or rupee note will buy less as compared to the previous one. So in other words, what is inflation? It is a sustained increase in an economy's price level. So inflation is not the matter of one day. It is not the matter of uh, increasing in the price of one product. In fact, it is a sustained increase in the overall price level. Like As you see from last uh, around two years, uh, specifically, you see in Pakistan, the prices of different goods and services have been continuously increasing, right? So that is why our infl we say we are facing inflation in our economy, right? So overall, if you see from the last 10, 15 years, uh, the price of vegetables, fruits, mobiles, electronics, cars, plots, houses have increased a lot. So that is why we say there is a inflation in this country, right? So how we define further degrees of inflation? So there are various degrees of inflation, right? So degrees of inflation means that whether it is 1% inflation, 2%, 10%, 20%. So a low and stable rate of inflation means 2% inflation is generally considered to be the good for the economic development, right? That is called as creeping inflation. Means overall in one year, the prices are only increasing by 2%. So that in economics is considered to be uh, necessary for the economic growth and development. While on the other hand, the other extreme, when inflation rate exceeds 50% or more than this, this is called as hyperinflation. Uh, various countries have experienced hyper, uh, hyperinflation. Like in Zimbabwe, uh, it went into 50%, 80, 90, 100, and then it went even into millionth percent. And ultimately, then they have to abandon the, that currency and they have to bring the new one. Uh, in the in 90s, uh, it, it was a, there was a hyperinflation in Afghanistan as well. Right? So, 2%, 2%, 3% in generally is considered to be not a big problem because they see it as a necessary uh, for the economic growth. So there are various degrees of inflation that we experience uh, in the economy, right? Now, how we measure the inflation, right? How can we come to, come to know that uh, this country has 2% inflation or 5% or 10%, right? So there are steps, some steps that we need to follow. The first step is that we need to select a base year which to, uh, from which we want to make the comparison. Like for example, this is 2022. So we may compare it with 2021 or we may compare it with 2010 or anything, right? So the, the year that you think it's a stable so we can compare our prices, current prices with that year. Then carrying out the survey, we find out the prices uh, of foods and clothing and all these things. Uh, and we may ask from different people to give us a data or we may have computerized data as well. Then attaching the weights to different categories like how much uh, percentage that you consume of your income on specific thing like 25% on food, 10% on clothes, 30% uh, on utilities like this, right? And finding out the price chain. What was the previous price and what is the current price, right? Um, previous means last year or five years back or any year that we have taken as a base year, right? And then we calculate the CPI, that is called as consumer price index. There are various other methods, but consumer price index uh, is uh, perhaps one of the most commonly used method for uh, inflation, right? So we would, what you do, multiplying the weights by its price changes and then total 
uh, the total will give us the change in the consumer price index, right? So this is how we basically calculate the inflation. So here you can see, we have here, we have categories, here we have weight, and then here uh, we have percentage price change and then weighted price change. For example, uh, food and beverages, et cetera. So we have assigned a weight 286 divided by 1000 because there are total 1000 items. So we have 286 items of food and beverages, for example. So then the percentage change means, let's suppose we have taken the previous year uh, and current year. So there's a total percentage change is 1.5%. So now you multiply it with this, we get 0.43 weighted price change. Similarly, then clothing and footwear, housing, furnishing, all these things, and we calculated that change. So here you can see in transport, as per this example, there's a minus percentage change, means overall transport prices uh, might have been decreased uh, in that year, right? So total transport items are 147 out of 1000. So here we have changes, means the prices are decreased. So that is why we have minus change. So here uh, the total uh, weighted price change is 0 0.06, right? So when we sum up all these, so here we get 3.05. So this is the data about Mauritius. So we can say in Mauritius uh, from last year to current year, there's only 3.5% inflation occurred in this time period whether it was year to year or it was from five years change or whatever. Now, what is the concept of money value and real value? So that is very important that we need to understand the real value and nominal value, right? So money value, which is also called as nominal values are the values at the prices operating at the time, right? So in contrast, real values have been adjusted for inflation. So when we do not adjust for inflation, that apparent value of the money is called as money value. And when we adjust it for the inflation, that is called as real value. So uh, how it works or what does it mean? It means, for example, you see uh, a, a worker has a wage rate, uh, sorry, a worker uh, may have a wage rise from uh, 5,000 to 6,000, like from last year to current year, uh, there's an increase of his, in, in his salary by $1,000. So it just means there's an increase of 20%, right? But if in the same year, from last year, the prices, price index was 100, and now this, this year price index means the consumer price index was uh, is uh, 125. So this means there's a 25% increase in the prices while there's a 20% increase in the salary. So if we see the current salary means 6,000 by multiplying by the change in the, uh, the price index, like 100 divided by 125, the previous price index and the current price index, so we get 400,800. So actually, you see, apparently the money value is increased from 5,000 to 6,000. Now he is getting 1,000 extra, but the real value of the money that now he is getting is equivalent to 4,800. So you can see what he could buy with the help of 5,000 in the last, uh, last year. Now he cannot buy all the stuff even with the 6,000 year because now 6,000, sorry, 6,000 rupee uh, dollars now with this six thousand dollars are equivalent to four thousand eight hundred dollars. You see, so this means the inflation rate is five twenty five percent, and the pay rise is twenty percent. So actually, their in his income has been fallen. The real income has been fallen. So you need to understand this that whether this pay rise is uh, sufficient enough for you or not. Okay, so what are the causes of inflation? Why the inflation occurs? There are two major causes or major uh, reasons for it. Like one is called as cost push inflation and other is called as demand pull inflation, right? So cost push inflation occurs when the prices of inputs increases. So that ultimately leads to the prices of output and hence whatever finished goods we are having, their prices are more. Like for example, if a company has to pay more wages to the, uh, to the uh, labor and uh, they have to pay more for uh, fuel and um, material, raw material and all these things, or the exchange rate may have fallen means their local currency have been value of the local currencies decrease and they have to import the raw material uh, from other countries like in Pakistan. So we import uh, various raw material from uh, other countries. So in that and continuously our uh, value of money is decreasing. So in that case, the overall cost of production for the producer is now increased. So ultimately he has to sell the things at a higher price. So when all the cost of production of various sellers increases, so ultimately all the sellers will increase the price and hence we will have 
different goods and services at a higher price. That is called as cost push inflation. Now, what is demand pull inflation? Demand pull inflation means when there's a, no increase in the cost of production, but suddenly the demand for that particular product increases. There might be many reasons for it. Like, you know, we might be having uh, more refugees in, in the country or like uh, we may, uh, you can say, uh, people income has been rising. So they are now demanding more goods and services or there's a boom in the business. So uh, more and more people are having uh, jobs, opportunities and they are getting more salaries, more money. And ultimately they are going and they're demanding more stuff, right? So ultimately the supply is the same but demand is rising suddenly so the additional demand will cause a kind of shortage which will ultimately give a push to uh, rise to the prices so that is called as called as demand pull inflation so you need to understand the difference between the two right what will be the consequences of inflation why uh, what will happen when inflation occurs so uh, there are a number of uh, consequences that we have to face when the uh, when there is uh, when there occur inflation the first one is reduction in the net exports then unplanned distribution of income fiscal drag discouragement of investment inflationary noise and inflation cause inflation so let's explain them one by one in detail reduction in net, net export means we we are importing something and we are also exporting something so the net positive difference is called as net export right like for example we export worth of goods uh, 2 billion and we import worth of goods uh, 3 billion so there is a minus uh, 1 billion net export means we are in minus and if it's a vice versa it's called as positive so if whenever there is inflation so we have to buy good uh, when we import the goods we have to pay more money and when we sell the goods uh, to other countries we receive less uh, dollars because uh, the value of local currencies has decreased. So ultimately, our net exports decreases, right? Similarly, unplanned distribution of income because now the things are getting expensive. So rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poor. Fiscal track, fiscal track means whatever government is making fiscal policies for about taxation and income. So their impact goes on the other year as well. So that again uh, means current last year inflation will affect current year prices as well. Discouragement of the investment when the prices are increasing, so producer from uh, other countries or from the local countries will not be inclined towards uh, investing in that country because now the things are getting expensive, so they have to sell at a higher price, people will buy less, so there will be no much, uh, there'll, there won't be much demand. Inflation noise means that people will be thinking more about inflation, that prices are increasing, so ultimately they will reduce the demand. Inflation causes inflation means that once when one price price of one good increases, that will lead to increase in the others uh, price of other goods as well. Like for example, if a teacher has to buy goods at expensive, so he will increase his tuition rate. A cobbler, a, ma a mason, they will rate increase their rates. Or the lawyer will increase his fee. The doctor will increase his fee or her fee, right? So automatically, one thing is causing other things as well. So these are the causes of inflation. Hope you got the concept. If there's any confusion uh, questions, so you can contact me uh, freely, right? Take care and see you in the next video. Thank you.